Hello, hello, and welcome to Earth Rose Tarot. I'm here to do the Scorpio, April 2021 general love reading. Hello, my lovely Scorpios, how are you? Thank you so much for your amazing support uh, so far, and in particular, I want to say on last month's video, you guys are really amazing, so just a big thank you from me. And if you're new to the channel, you're very welcome. Thank you so much for joining. So this is gonna be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cross watchers, you're also very welcome. But bear in mind that the message could be reversed, and otherwise, it could just not be my, your Scorpio that I'm talking about. Just to say in advance, this is a general love reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone out there that views it, but I hope you do find it useful or enjoyable. It resonates in some way, or even if just some parts resonate, take what is useful and leave the rest. So, and I am. <laughs> setting this as April 2021 just so you know obviously as well the when I've videoed it um, but this is can just be for whenever you come across it time is fluid in tarot so just bear that in mind as well so Scorpio I'm gonna get some general messages for you first for love and then we'll go into a full spread or oh, hello started already okay what have we got oh, the devil Scorpio it's Capricorn energy oh 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 what is going on? All right, let's just get into it then. So we've got the Devil, the Seven of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the Emperor and the Sun. Hmm. Interesting. Now, so Capricorn, Aries and I mean, sometimes the Sun can be Leo, but for me, mainly it's about the Sun. So, but there is a lot of um, fiery energy here, a lot of um, lust, passion potentially, but there is also an element of arrogance I'm seeing coming through. Maybe someone um, with options, with... Now, obviously, everything I'm saying can be about you or your person. Uh, even if I'm saying this is how you feel and it's actually you feel it's the other way around, just flip it, it's no problem. Um, so, Seven of Cups, there is this element of needing to make a choice, maybe having options, a Three of Pentacles. Also, I'm kind of getting a sense of... Um, whether to collaborate with somebody or um, again there's maybe multiple options I'm getting here as well now there is this element of someone maybe having some temptation as I said some sort of uh, toxic habit bad habits um, and then there is this very stubborn energy of the emperor combined with the sun the sun is very positive it's beautiful it is success um, uh, in many ways um, but it's also when it's this combination I'm just seeing someone with a bit of an ego and quite a few options as far as they're concerned as well and it's kind of with this emperor it's someone feels like um, well the choice is theirs the power is in their hands so let's carry on interesting at the bottom of the deck I've just seen we've got the fool which is uh, it is making a a leap of faith in one direction or another it is kind of like a spontaneous energy but also taking a risk um going for something so let's see what's going on why is the devil here please for scorpio why is the devil here oh interesting judgment <laughs> a major decision uh, as i was just saying with the fool this is uh a decisive moment yes but also I'm kind of getting that maybe this could be you Scorpio as well uh, maybe having some sort of realization about someone that you're dealing with their um, their their toxic their shadow side you might be realizing um, an, another side of them I'm kind of getting or um, what leads them to you know act the way they do it's kind of like a, a moment of realization as as well as a decisive moment so um what can you tell what else can you tell me about this devil and the judgment card please the devil and the judgment card please for scorpio thank you the queen of cups interesting so that's your energy scorpio it is also pisces and cancer but i'm kind of getting here this could be also this the person you're dealing with making a major decision about you uh, now it could be that they have been stuck in the past um, with some sort of um, vices or just issues they had to deal with with the devil it could mean a whole load of different things when it comes to the devil um, but you know something may have been keeping them stuck and confused but now they are actually having some sort of 
uh, again, it could be them having a realization moment, making a decision about you and maybe about whether to work on this with you. Uh, so let's see what's going on. Why is the Seven of Cups here, please, for Scorpio? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here, please, for Scorpio? Thank you. The Nine of Cups. Interesting. So, yeah, the, the thing is here with the Seven of Cups, it's about making a choice um, and what is really real and what is illusion. And uh, the Nine of Cups is about actually, you know, the happiness, getting what you want wish fulfillment, you know, um, attainment of desires, but it's kind of, uh, yeah, so it's essentially it's someone who needs to make a decision about where their happiness lies with that combination. So where, why is the uh, three of pentacles here, please, for Scorpio? Why is the three of pentacles here for Scorpio? Thank you. The Six of Cups, wow. So this could be someone coming in wanting to make some sort of gesture, being very sweet. Um, they may be um, missing you if you haven't been communicating recently or they just thinking very fondly of you. They may have been like reminiscing and uh, I'm getting this sense of daydreaming about you as well with the Seven of Cups and Six of Cups. Uh, maybe dreaming about how they can actually uh, also reach that, what they want with you uh, and sort of fantasizing about you but the six of cups is very sweet it's often someone coming back into your life um, doesn't have to be from a hundred years ago it could just be from recently like returning to and doing something you know maybe with this combination i see like putting the effort in maybe uh making some sort of gesture showing that they want to work on this with you why is the emperor here please for scorpio why is the emperor here Wow, the Ten of Cups. There are a lot of cups on the table, Scorpio. But yeah, the Ten of Cups is a great deal of happiness. Um, now, the Ten of Cups is also talking about the kind of family that you create whilst you're, you know, in this lifetime. Not the family you're born into, but the one you create for yourself. Um, and it is a sense of almost family being reunited as well. So for some of you, I mean, the Emperor, the Divine Masculine, he is also like um, quintessential man of um what can i how can i say it? the man of the house you know the husband etc maybe uh, someone that you have children with for some of you something you have a family with or uh, it's just someone really stepping up to actually um take on that role as well and uh, maybe if there was a lack of effort from this person in terms of the the family unit or you know the relationship then there is certainly wanting to actually put their fair share of work and really step up into that emperor embodying um, their responsibilities as well um, so why is the sun here please for scorpio thank you the five of swords interesting it's also interesting to me because actually you know this deck covers a whole load of different themes but there's um the same theme on both of these cards here. So this Five of Swords is actually talking about um, communication issues, certainly, but also someone who may have said something very blunt, very harsh. Uh, again, a sense of arrogance, um, kind of thinking they can say whatever they like, um, kind of very harsh and cutting with their words, which may have really caused a lot of upset and um, hurt for you maybe even heartbreak or you know certainly heartache for you Scorpio um, because it was someone who wanted to win an argument at all costs or get things their way it's very again the five of swords can talk about ego for me as well like but ego kind of taking over your thoughts your communication and for me yeah this is someone who certainly may have some sort of issues with um how can I put it? Um, kind of they may see themselves as, sorry, I'm, I'm just, the words are kind of like coming into my head. It's kind of like someone who maybe sees that, uh, that I don't know, they can do no wrong I'm getting or something, or they can say whatever they like and uh, still be successful. It's a very weird message, sorry, it just popped into my head. So it's not going to be for all of you, but if there's someone who has spoken very harshly to you in the past, it is definitely, they could have, um, they could have issues with their temper actually as well, with that devil card. 
uh, and just saying things in the heat of the moment, but they're actually very damaging. So hence they may want to come in with some sort of apology, work on things with you, maybe step up, but uh, let's see, at the bottom of the deck, okay, we have the Hermit card. So if you have been in some kind of separation from this person, they've certainly been, or you know, someone's been uh, taking some time alone to do a lot of thinking, a lot of soul searching. Uh, and this is Virgo energy as well, I should mention. But yeah, it's certainly that um, sense of being alone for a while, taking a break, but doing a lot of thinking about this. And with this judgment card, I am seeing this sense of trying to come back in to bring something back to life to um, something reawakening uh, the connection so interesting let's go into your spread Scorpio and we'll see a lot more detail for you so of course I forgot to say at the beginning um, please do like comment and subscribe obviously comment uh, if this does resonate or you enjoy it I love to hear from you uh, subscribe to the channel that'd be absolutely incredible i'm thinking what i can do as something special when we hit 1000 uh subscribers i will think of something um and yeah like the video i'll be doing a bonus love reading again scorpio you were so close to winning it in march um so please do like and whichever sign gets the most likes i'll do your bonus love reading so for my scorpios can we get the top 12 cards please for the spread for Scorpio, this is going to be for you and the person you have on your mind whilst watching the video. For Scorpio, please, in love. Scorpio. The top 12 cards for Scorpio, please. Okay, let's go. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Yeah, there you go, there's that Six of Cups. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Sun again. Yep, you definitely expect to hear from this person. Wow two aces on the spread okay interesting so at the bottom of the deck we have the six of pentacles here so this is definitely talking about as i said that equal level of investment into a connection and e equal uh, give and take as well um, so it could be talking about someone who as i said wasn't pulling their fair share in the connection before or you may have felt like they were um like you were putting more effort into this than they were um so let's see so we've got the nine of pentacles behind that there's a lot of pentacles here i have to say um which we've seen already so you could some of you could be dealing with someone with earth um in their chart or you might have that the nine of pentacles is a very single self-sufficient energy it is abundant and it's very successful but successful alone it's kind of like um now someone here may have been working on themselves working on their own stability and uh, success as a single person or this could be talking about you as well scorpio and uh, that you have been doing very well on your own also let's see now we've got the king of cups interesting water cancer pisces scorpio uh, so this could certainly be talking about you for some of you scorpio but it's also someone who has a lot of deep love and emotion um yeah they're emotionally uh, maybe a bit matured as well and they are i feel like this is someone who has a lot of love for you scorpio um now they might be admiring how well you've been doing on your own or you, they might admire your independence and your success and how you really um have got everything in your life kind of sorted bills paid you know working really hard doing things all for yourself um but that may may be kind of also attracting them to you to kind of want to reciprocate and and give equally let's see what's going on now at the bottom of the deck wow we've got the empress so that is incredible this is certainly it's kind of that nine of pentacles energy on on speed it is um incredibly you know abundant 
its beauty, its love, and its growth in the connection as well. So we've already seen the emperor, maybe someone does view you, as I was saying, has uh, really admires you and has a lot of respect for you with the empress. Also, they just think you're absolutely incredible, someone here. Um, so let's see what's going on. The world card, interesting. So the world card is talking about, um, you know, one chapter kind of ending and a new one beginning. Uh, it can also talk about travel. It's also, it's, uh, it can talk about, I'm just going, that things could be moving quite slowly. The world is that kind of um, Saturn energy as well. And it's, you know, the world turns slowly. So this could be, and it's a sense of um, fulfillment and achievement. So it may be something that this situation has been uh, going on for a long time I'm kind of getting and maybe come into some sort of fruition with the world and the empress I mean that is um, a real sense of success and abundance uh, and achievement so let's see what's going on well we have the four of swords here so this is it's a no communication certainly it's there's been a, maybe a time out in terms of communication uh, kind of already seen that at the beginning where someone may want to now come back in the four of swords yeah it's that hermit energy as well it's um taking time out to think not to speak not really knowing what words to say and you know some sometimes it can be a case of needing to heal as well uh, from heartache before actually communicating so let's see what's going on you get your next layer and then we'll go through everything so for Scorpio please can we clarify I should mention the Empress is Libra and Taurus but mainly for me it's Venus of Venusian energy so. and on the spread so far we have Libra energy again and the sun so can you clarify please for Scorpio with the door hello yeah definitely I think I've said it already but you can expect communication from this person Scorpio um, okay can we clarify with the top 12 cards for Scorpio, please. Okay. Wow. There's the Ace of Swords for a second time on the spread. Okay. The Five of Swords again. The Two of Pentacles for a second time. All right. <laughs> yeah wow <laughs> okay okay so at the bottom of this deck we have the page of wands which is also already on the spread so this is communication coming in and it is playful in its nature it's uh it's light-hearted it's flirtatious um yeah it's definitely someone trying to reignite a spark you know coming in um to try and heat things back up. It is an element of attraction here as well with the page, page of wands. Um, so let's see, we've got the Queen of Cups. There you are again, Scorpio, as at the beginning. Um, so yeah, you may have, with this Queen of Cups, other than it representing you, it is also talking about someone who has a lot of deep feelings and uh, is very kind, loving, and emotionally very like connected with their emotions. Uh, so, also quite intuitive I have to say um, from you know what their gut tells them so for me yeah you could have a lot of deep feelings though and then I feel like this person's kind of coming in with um, a light-hearted approach I'm kind of getting that a little bit of a sense of arrogance as well though now I did see at the beginning that they were kind of making some sort of um, decision uh, between their options about you now if that's they're kind of considering you in that kind of empress um, you know they think you are you know above all other options but they're coming in in a very light-hearted way so let's see what's going on oh my god there you go again now these, these were carefully shuffled I can assure you but the judgment card again so it just has to tell us that this is yeah someone 
I feel like he's choosing you here, Scorpio, coming in and, but they're, they're still coming in in a very lighthearted way. And it's, they may still be quite focused on passion. It is, I'm just getting a little bit sense of that arrogance coming in that they, you may not have been communicating for a while now, they're gonna come back in like very lighthearted, like la la la, nothing happened kind of thing for some of you. But um, let's see what's going on at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, we have the Ten of Swords. So this could have felt like a very um, painful cycle that has come to an end or there has been a painful ending or you felt possibly betrayed by someone who you uh, who really meant a lot to you. This is a lot of pain and heartache, but it is also talking about, um, you know, the Ten of Swords is a sense of closure and one cycle ending. And we already saw the world card where it was like a closure of one chapter, beginning of another. So... Let's see. Oh my goodness. The Ten of Wands as well. So, wow. This, I mean, as a combination, this is like an an end, a big ending. Now, the Ten of Wands is um, putting a lot of, you, you know, investment, time, effort into something. And it really, it feeling like it, it didn't um, achieve anything. It didn't go anywhere. You may have felt like um, you tried and tried, but it, it ended up feeling a little bit hopeless and you you had to drop it and stop putting time and effort into it and yeah this is definitely um one I feel like one cycle with this person has or even if you've been on multiple cycles with them now there's been a change because you've actually um stopped investing and so that has it's been like an ending of a painful cycle but I think a new one with this page of ones is also something fresh coming in I feel like a new chapter is beginning so let's see yeah the nine of wands here so this is the thing when this person does communicate with you which is coming in um I feel like you're going to be quite guarded because of what you've gone through to kind of reach where you are now of letting it go in some sense um and being very strong um to do so and to go through all of that and now that you know if they are reaching out to you in a very light-hearted way trying to bring this you know back to life trying to come back into your life then you are going to be guarded it is this nine of wands does talk about not giving up and persevering uh, at the you know this kind of the last not giving up at the last hurdle however i feel like you are aware of um more aware of this person's bad habits you know you're aware of the red flags with this person it's kind of what i was getting at the beginning with the devil like you may have realized some aspects of this person that you didn't see before so you're more aware of them now it's kind of going to be a trying to decide whether to give them another chance is kind of what i'm getting you're definitely going to be quite guarded when they get in touch so let's go through how you feel about your person scorpio we've got that ten of wands again and the four of wands so you do feel like in a way though as, as much as i said you have kind of stopped investing stop trying to um put work into this and kind of let it go in some ways but i feel like you're also kind of carrying some sort of burden about this person with you you're certainly you may not be giving to it the situation anymore um because you know you need that equal reciprocation of effort and you're being focused on your own independence and your self-sufficiency but it's also still maybe weighing on your mind because perhaps for some of you there is a existing commitment there with the four of wands maybe for some of you this is someone you're married to um, and in a separation from potentially for others it will be that you really felt like this was your person this was the one that you were going to end up with you felt um, fated to be with this person um, so you're still kind of carrying that in some ways even if you're not giving to the situation anymore if that makes sense it's still weighing heavily on you that you kind of felt like this was the person that you wanted to have all of those beautiful um, celebrations of life with now how they feel about you um with that knight of pentacles it is the, certainly that they this is about making a solid offer the knight of pentacles this is about um yeah coming forward in a more reliable um tangible way but it is also um hesitant to come forward with that offer it's slow moving uh so they may feel perhaps like you have been waiting for a solid offer from them for quite a while for some of you um so 
with this ace of swords though this is some sort of kind of truth some sort of realization so they may feel have had some sort of enlightenment about you uh, they may feel like they see you they may feel clearer about you now uh, or they may feel like they need to communicate some sort of truth to you as well so let's see what's going on now how they see you we've got the two of pentacles and the high priestess so pisces energy as well there with the high priestess but this is two of pentacles is kind of uh certainly they're needing to be balanced in the connection and they may see that um you have been trying to keep everything balanced on your own for some of you uh now for others it will be more that they see they need to bring more um balance into the connection but also I get a sense of you know going back and forth weighing up the pros and cons trying to make a decision um, it can also be you know obviously for some people it's going to be a sense of juggling as well they may see that uh, they have been maybe juggling you with someone else with as I said for some of you this is not someone you're in a solid commitment with but this is someone who has options um, that they were going back and forth between you and someone else or just needing to going back and forth in terms of their decision about which option to choose um the high priestess is the, to make this decision though they are going to need to trust their intuition and really um, the answer lies within themselves they may see that um they now know because also um, that ace of swords about how they feel about you they may have realized something inside themselves that the they they know the answer um in but they, I feel like the fact that they're seeing you like this is also talking about the fact that you're not talking to them anymore. You're kind of holding back, you're withholding communication and, you know, because you're not going to keep putting work and effort into this if they're not going to. Um, so they see you now in silence. <laughs> so what happened in the past? we've got the eight of pentacles and the strength card so leo energy but um for me this is holding back and focusing on career focusing on stability on money uh kind of throwing yourself into your work potentially for some of you or maybe they were doing this um and really focused on um yeah reaching that kind of nine of pentacles actually feeling stable and secure at, on your own your independence your money looking good this kind of thing and using every element of your inner strength to overcome maybe the desire to reach out maybe the pain of those endings the ten of swords the ten of wands a lot of inner strength was needed and a lot of kind of um just re uh, what's the word resilience in the past now the current mutual energy we've got justice the card of libra and the five of swords again so th this is good combination because this five of swords i saw at the beginning i really didn't get a good feeling from it either this person acted really like an arrogant ass and again cross watches remember everything could be flipped please don't come for me but um i it was just that was what i was getting that someone really felt like they could do what they liked and that included for some of you maybe being really uh, blunt harsh and thoughtless in their communication and for others maybe just completely disappearing ghosting you know no communication whatsoever uh, and but the good thing is that now there is an element of justice of um, things needing to be made right um, if some of you may feel like you were treated unfairly or unjust by this person there is a sense of you know the karmic scales are being rebalanced and this may also be talking about whoever was as acting like this making wanting to make amends and make things right between the two of you and again that sense of bringing balance as i said that's what they see when they are perceiving you is that they know they need to make things more fair now again what does this person wish would happen in the connection scorpio the six of cups and the two of pentacles so yes the six of cups i said at the beginning they what they kind of want in the connection is not only to come back in to um maybe apologize or you know to smooth things over with you certainly by perhaps doing something sweet by doing some sort of gesture uh kind of how can i say it uh reminding you of better times uh, maybe kind of trying to get you to reminisce on and remember yeah when things were sweeter and to kind of uh, help heal the recent pain uh, to kind of you know oh, do you remember 
back in the day when we used to do this or oh, do you remember that great time we did this together that kind of thing um, now the ten of oh sorry the two of pentacles is certainly about balance as well and as i said they see you as that that is the current energy as well with the leap the justice card so that's what they want i would say is to bring more balance but i have to say this is could also be to still make some sort of decision to still for some of you juggle you with their other options maybe to it could it's certainly not a hugely de decisive energy here in terms of what they want so it could be that they want to make a decision but they still want to be able to go back and forth so let's see um what is the block or the challenge so we've got the ace of swords <laughs> interestingly in the block and the king of pentacles so this is earth energy capricorn virgo taurus we've already seen capricorn and virgo i believe so definitely could be dealing with an earth sign but anyway um now in terms of a challenge you see it's interesting for me because how they feel about you the knight of pentacles and the ace of swords and the challenge is the ace of swords and the king of pentacles which is certainly as you can see like a level up from the knight of pentacles interesting how those have come out almost identical but it's almost like the challenge is perhaps an honest conversation uh, about stability, something more reliable um, and commitment. It could be that the challenge is someone not being completely honest about whether they want commitment or not. Maybe they're not even honest with themselves about whether they want that or not. Um, it could, it can also be just someone not speaking clearly or not communicating clearly there's definitely been issues with communication and I, it's almost considering how they feel about you is that they they are clear that they want to make you some sort of um, stable offer but they're being very hesitant and slow about doing so because obviously they can't make their flipping mind up for some of you um, it's the challenge yet yeah, is also actually having um, that conversation about maybe taking things to the next level about making you know putting roots down together in some way so what are their intentions towards you scorpio at this time we've got the queen of swords uh, that is aquarius libra gemini air energy and the magician so major manifestation energy the magician is also mercurial energy which is interesting because aries just moved into mercury today i think um so if i'm right um, so Aries in Mercury is very good if you've been feeling any sense of stagnancy or stuck or there's been issues with communication as well because Aries is coming in and actually making something happen with communication. I just wanted to note that because the magician being mercurial energy it is, it is certainly manifestation, it's making things happen, it's taking action, it's bringing... Um, you know your desires to reality your dreams to reality but um i feel like here with this combination they um their intention is to kind of get their desires make that a reality with you through their words um and the, with this queen of swords i feel like this is you again um because they're seeing you as that high priestess the queen of swords here with her sword pointed down there's you're not speaking to them at the moment I, I feel like I'm getting the sense that they have really let you down. They've You feel really hurt and disappointed potentially with them at this point. And you feel kind of bruised and um, yeah, just you've lost um, a kind of a sense of innocence in this connection. As I'm saying you a couple of times, you kind of, you've been shown this person's more toxic habits and as a result you know you now feel disheartened potentially and what their intention is to kind of change that to um still get what they want with you and i from what i'm feeling so far it's it's to do so by through communication by using their words so let's see now what you need to know about their current situation so we've got the sun and the page of cups i mean in terms of their current situation now the sun is illumination as well it is enlightenment it is you know um the sun breaking through the clouds kind of with this um if i can find it the judgment card here as well you know here with the, the sun breaking through the clouds 
uh, this is a moment of realization uh, and also kind of realization of what you want so which is positive because i feel like this person has been um, doing a lot of going back and forth about their options and you know potentially juggling back and forth etc their current situation there is sort of a sense of illumination um on where you know where their happiness lies um where but it is it's a very positive energy it could also feel that they now feel more um, confident more positive that they could actually um you know do something achieve something make something happen uh, maybe they are starting you know to believe in their abilities to manifest what they want now with this page of cups this is feeling still feeling very connected i would say to you even if you're you haven't been communicated recently um still kind of feeling tied to you and it's page of cups is maybe feeling like more positive about actually reaching out with some sort of emotion if they were quite closed off in that regard in the past with the emperor that we saw at the beginning it's kind of i'm getting a sense that they feel more optimistic about being able to reach out with their feelings so the action they're going to take towards you next scorpio i mean <laughs> the page of wands as we saw here and the eight of wands definitely <laughs> the action they're going to take towards you next for who this is resonating for is to get in touch communication you can expect come flying in uh, i feel like it's going to be out of the blue you see here here also with the eight of wands the the um things have gone quite cold in the environment and suddenly these um it's also called the arrows of love the eight of wands come bursting onto the scene heating things back up both of these cards are very passion orientated very flirtatious um very you know fiery action orientated very playful and certainly um hot and heavy <laughs> i'd say but yeah the i mean all pages are messengers as well so absolutely now your advice uh, about this person the situation scorpio i mean an eight, the ace of wands is a passionate new beginning it's also action orientated uh it's um it's an opportunity for a new beginning and an opportunity i would say for passion by the looks of it and and uh yeah <laughs> but the temperance card is card sagittarius now it's interesting because the temperance card for me when it comes up in the advice and i feel like this may have come up in march for you in the advice i could be wrong but i remember that being something about you know the delay go with the flow and i just remember that and anyway temperance card here in advice is patience um uh, which i know when you've been waiting of to maybe to hear from someone or for something to actually happen for a while it's like when i see this i'm like ah don't tell me patience but um it is certainly go with the flow uh, there's no need to rush anything to force anything it is things will play out um, at the correct time there's no yeah there's really no need to force anything things are playing out for you just go with the flow uh, and yeah ace of wands i feel like your patience and that um, frame of mind is really going to pay off with you because there is an exciting new beginning the opportunity for that is coming um so there we go but also i would say in terms of advice you may there may be that opportunity and you may want to kind of not rush either with the temperance card the te is kind of it's not impulsive energy which is quite a contrast with the ace of wands is all about that that really exciting passionate new beginning but the temperance card is kind of tempering those um fiery impulses and so yeah let's see what else comes out with the third layer now what is going to be happening with you i have changed this i was saying you know in the month that i'm recording the message for um but as time is fluid and i feel it's just best to say at this point what is going to be happening between the two of you in the near future so whenever you come across this message um hopefully that will be clearer uh but i have to say in the near future so far there seems to still be quite a strong energy of indecision and things still being left in limbo this is not i have to say a completely decisive energy with the hangman the two of swords the, i mean this person seriously has an issue with making some sort of decision uh, or the ability to um they 
may need to make a decision based on their intuition, not what they can see in front of them, uh, and really go with their guts. With the Two of Swords, kind of there's an element of being blindfolded. But with this hangman energy as well, this is really being in limbo, things still being un undetermined and a still a pause, a delay. So I'm so sorry, I know it's frustrating, but remember there is that new beginning, there's gonna be opportunity. It's just gonna be when um, the timing is right. And also when both your person and you um, and everyone involved, their emotions are balanced in the right place to actually make this work. So um, let's get your third layer, Scorpio. And we'll go through once again. And of course, if this is resonating, don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know subscribe and hit the like button for me that would be amazing so for scorpio please can we clarify one more time with the top 12 cards for scorpio please The Two of Pentacles again, okay. Wow, interesting. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> the Ace of Swords for a third time as well. Wow, okay. Another Ace, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay, wow. Huh. <laughs> That's good. Okay, Scorpio, at the bottom of this deck, we have the Nine of Wands again. So as I was saying, you may now be feeling more in a, uh, like a little bit wounded from your experiences with this person so far. Now you may have a bit of a wall up, be feeling a little bit more like guarded and um, maybe even like I get a sense of like shoring up your defenses, like preparing yourself as you listen to this, you're like, they messaged me. How am I? Gonna, what am I gonna do? I am. How am I gonna react? I'm gonna really like, uh, just make myself really hard and strong right now in preparation for them getting in touch. But let's see. Yeah, the underneath that we have the wheel of fortune. So definitely things coming around. As I said, cycles, new chapter, things changing. I feel like you may go through patches with this person where uh, sometimes it's going really well and then sometimes it changes all of a sudden and it's it's, it's like it, you're left out in the cold from them and then it changes and it's positive again so yeah change is constant of course in life but I feel like there is with the Wheel of Fortune there is positive change overall it's just like change again is coming <laughs> interesting so we have the Seven of Swords now the Seven of Swords can talk about a lot of things. It can talk about someone who's not completely honest, doesn't uh, you know, with themselves or with others. It can also talk about someone who's a bit of a runner. Um, again, that sense of kind of getting what they want and then running away from the situation. And but also, it's uh, kind of getting in this particular Seven of Swords is getting what they want in a kind of uh, sneaky way in a can be a little bit manipulative way i've just popped into my head as well so um this person definitely has some bad habits certainly with what i've seen so far it's kind of they may um i feel you know the way this person is holding the swords i don't I haven't noticed that before but i'm just getting a feeling like this person just suddenly gathered up all their swords in terms of you know messages of communicating with you and ran off uh, I do feel like they're coming back in again with, you know, to communicate with you again, but you're going to be feeling quite guarded and quite wounded because you're like, well, you know, are we going to go through this again? Are you just going to communicate with me and then run off again? So let's see. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the full. So this is um, that. I feel like, we yeah, we stood see the full at the beginning. This is... Um, it's kind of like thinking in this particular full card for me, it's thinking about walking away on a new path and um, 
you know, taking a risk in a new direction and leaving something behind you. Um, it could also be, I feel like this person may be worried that that is what you're going to do, that you, that you are going to walk away and start something new, start a new journey, and they don't really want you to get away. So let's see what's going on. The Five of Pentacles, but interesting. I feel like if you were considering, you know, just leaving this in your past and trying to focus on heading off in a new direction, it's because this person has kind of left you out in the cold, left you uh, unsupported, you know, even just unsupported emotionally. For some of you, it was getting at the beginning, there was that lack of investment into, you know, for some of you, it's going to be a commitment of family, then it's, they've kind of left you alone to deal with, um, maybe finances or bills or, you know, the kind of responsibilities on your own uh, whilst they walked away. So yeah, it's I'm no wonder that you would be extremely guarded about this person. Okay, and then we have the moon. So more Pisces energy. Um, but I mean, the moon is, uh, I mean, here it is a sense of dreaming, actually. It's talking about your dreams, fantasies, Hmm. It could be that you, it's a girl, how can I put this? It's kind of like illusion and confusion as well though. So I almost feel like you may still think about this person. As I was saying, you've, you've stopped trying to invest and you've been focused more on your, your own thing, but um, you may still dream about them or daydream about being with them but you you just might not know if at this point if you can trust them or if it's just a dream at this point and whether you need to just head off in a completely different direction so how you feel about them scorpio is clarified by the two of pentacles so yes this is certainly with the ten of wands and this two of pentacles is a real sense of being quite overwhelmed i feel like you have a lot on your plate and yet you're trying to keep everything balanced whilst feeling the quite weighed down by how you feel about this connection you're very focused on keeping things in your life running smoothly you know getting those bills paid getting the house in order you know maybe for some of you if you have children you have to look after as well or you know other responsibilities you feel very heavily like all the responsibility is on your shoulders if that's going to be for some of you and for others you just feel like again as much as you felt like this was the person that you wanted to be with it's kind of it's weighing heavily on you and you're really trying to maybe you aren't at this point weighing up the pros and cons of even where do I continue to carry this feeling that I have for this person or do I let this go completely is kind of what I'm getting now how they feel about you is clarified by the six of pentacles now this particular six of pentacles is talking about generosity and kindness uh, and really a giving attitude and it's kind of like I feel that they've had some sort of realization about how uh, giving you are and how generous you are they may have also had some sort of realization that they really didn't deserve how you were treating them i mean and also how they weren't reciprocating equally is what i'm getting i mean they may have also felt like they didn't uh for some of you i'm gonna get in the message that they didn't really feel worthy of you which is interesting because this person for some of you certainly has um a real ego on them a real uh, sense of arrogance but at the same time it might be like a i'm kind of getting imposter syndrome that's very specific I, it just popped into my head but maybe some of them felt like if they were actually to offer you now this is for those of you who aren't in a commitment or maybe if you are but it, you're in separation at the moment sorry one second um they may have, some of them may have felt like they weren't good enough for to really offer you something stable uh, and committed I, that is kind of what I, I'm yeah the strongest message and they, they, they may feel like they've had some sort of um, breakthrough recently about that in terms of being able to actually match your investment um, but yeah Let's see 
So how they see you is clarified by the uh, Hierophant. Sorry, it's called the Priest in this deck. Interestingly, this particular deck, they flip the, um, the order of some of the Major Arcana and the Hierophant and the um, High Priestess is flipped. So this is card number two, the same as High Priestess card number two here, but it is actually um, the Hierophant. Confusing, right? <laughs> but interesting, look how we've got two of Pentacles, two on the High Priestess, this is why I mentioned it, and number two, even though it is the Hierophant, two, two, two. Interesting, some of you may want to look up that, the uh, significance of that number. I don't know all of them off by heart, but I feel like 222 is quite a strong message for me. Now, um, the, with the Hierophant here, but coming through in also this High Priestess energy, it is a sense of a serious spiritual journey uh, and a spiritual awakening and going within for those answers and gaining a lot of wisdom, I have to say. The Hierophant can talk about um, learning uh, a great deal, being wise and um, someone's beliefs as well. Now, I feel like they see that they need to make a decision about you and it needs to be, it's kind of something that they're being guided in terms of this decision by uh, a higher wisdom, a higher knowing um, about this situation with you. It's really hard to explain. I hope that made sense. Now, what happened in the past is clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. This is, I swear, I said when I was reading this earlier that with this Eight of Pentacles, it was you, using your strength and focusing on work t to bring yourself to the Nine of Pentacles that we'd already seen. So here it is again. This is very much focused, very um, independent, solo energy. I feel like both of you were very much focused on your independence, your stability, your money, your career, and really using all your inner strength to overcome your feelings, basically. I don't see any real emotion here. It's more about, no, let's just be strong, let's be resilient, and let's get through this, because I really need to focus on my, um, my money and everything being secure with my finances. Now, the current mutual energy is clarified by that Ace of Swords, so coming up for a third time. Interesting, because look, the Five of Swords definitely issues with communication, lack thereof, or also someone saying something very blunt. Um, but this Ace of Swords is, an, I would say, an honest conversation, a realisation and a some sort of breakthrough as well. Now, the only thing I'm noticing with all of um, this Justice card and the Ace of Swords, the, both the swords are pointing down as well. So the only thing is, as much as it could be that someone needs to make this right about the lack of communication, I would say the current mutual energy between the two of you, as much as someone is aware that they need to make it right, is that at the moment when you're watching this, you may still not be speaking to them, if that makes sense. Because the Ace of Swords pointing down, the Justice's sword pointing down. Someone knows they need to make things right about what's happened, but there is still no communication. Oh, my candles went out <laughs> as I said that. Um, so what they are wishing, what happened in the connection, Scorpio, is clarified by this beautiful Ace of Cups. So yes, coming back in, a new beginning in love, a renewal of the connection, uh, an opportunity for another chance with you, basically. I think I said at one point earlier, they are hoping you will give them another chance. And it may be that what they're, ho I mean, I see children here actually in both this Six of Cups card and the Two of Cups that the woman is, is carrying two little kids. So for some of you, it could be that it was gonna be very specific. For some of you, they are maybe hoping to uh, even come back in and maybe some of you they'll be like let's have a fresh start and let's grow our family let's have children possibly that could be an element for some of you now for others it's just they want a fresh start with you they want another you know another go around that wheel of fortune and, and beginning of a new chapter a new cycle to kind of do sweet things and maybe for you to let them back in even when you're kind of juggling every other responsibility in your life as well. Now, what is the block? The challenge in this connection is clarified by the Four of Pentacles. So, Four of Pentacles is definitely a sense of holding back. Someone I feel has been holding back communication about settling down, stability, commitment. Also, 
it could be that um, there may have been some block uh, which needed some sort of breakthrough regarding finances and money. I'm seeing that being kind of a running theme here. Maybe that's why someone was so, or both of you were so focused on it in the past because the Four of Pentacles is also a sense of lack in terms of finances and security. It's, it's the challenge being that someone may have felt like they didn't have enough to actually um, provide for the other person to to actually be able to be that king of pentacles you know who is a solid reliable partner it, he is you know <laughs> husband material he's father of your children material but he, you know he's someone that you can grow with and establish a solid foundation with this four of pentacles is telling me that someone felt like they didn't have enough to provide that solid foundation for the connection for the family and then there needed to either be a communication uh, like just to have a conversation about it do you know what i mean rather than maybe just disappearing and running away and not communicating um there needed to be an honest conversation about maybe those concerns if it wasn't a conversation then there needed to be some sort of breakthrough about how to solve those um those issues around um finances stability so what is the intention of this person towards you scorpio it's clarified by the seven of cups so here the seven of cups is very different it's actually coming forward humbly um you know with modesty looking for solutions and coming forward open to compromise open to um, you know accepting i don't know everything i want to come forward and learn how i can be better and in you know kind of i feel like they're going to try and get you to let them back in after they have disappointed you so much and I feel like they're going to do so by basically coming forward and being like, look, okay, I'm not perfect. I want to work on this. Please, you know, um, tell me what I can do to make this right. Just be careful because I am seeing with the magician card as well, there is potential, there's the potential for there to be a little bit of manip manipulation going on here by maybe um, in that coming forward very humbly. Make sure it's honest as well. So... What is it about their current situation you need to know is clarified by the six of wands now this six of wands card is certainly there is an element of confidence here is what i'm saying they really feel now that more positive that they can reach out and be victorious but this six of wands is also talking about someone from coming forward with kind of like a peace offering uh, a tree like an offering like a peace treaty to the other side so their current situation is yet yeah, feeling confident and positive that they can actually come forward towards you and be successful now the action they're going to take towards you next saying that is clarified by the chariot card so card of cancer here and this is look at the speed at which this is the chariot moves extremely fast and we've got the eight of wands here as well so they're going to come basically rushing in towards you to have a victory to get what they want now, the only thing I would say, be careful again with this chariot card because this person is coming in being carried on the back of two other people. So the point of this is to say that they want a victory um, regardless of the not really taking into consideration the emotions of the other person. And this is kind of what I was getting with ages ago when I said about they're coming in with a very playful energy. Um, when you have a lot of deep feelings and you may have gone through deeply painful endings of cycles uh, and reaching you know a point of closure with this and now they're coming in with that very playful energy very passionate and uh, potentially for like a physical success with you as well and it it's not really considering your emotions here as well i would just say because it is more about getting what they want and they do feel like they're going to be successful i have to tell you so your advice is clarified by the princess of swords which is the knight of swords so yeah interesting this knight of swords is actually saying that you may want to um take a second look that could go either way though like so it could not just reconsider someone but also if you have been so set on yep this is the person i want this is my four of wands this is who i want to be with the knight uh, this particular knight of swords because you see the way the sword has been is split and it's dub it's double edged so each edge is kind of representing a way of thinking it's kind of seeing things from the other side of you know seeing the 
another aspect, stepping back and looking at it from another angle. Uh, and I feel like, yeah, the advice is yes, there is gonna be this opportunity for a passionate, exciting new beginning with this person, but definitely take your time go with the flow, try not to rush, be too impulsive. The Knight of Swords also speaks about communication is kind of come in out of the blue with the Knight of Swords, but this one is advising you that when it does, look at everything from every angle, take your time and um, consider things carefully. You, you may also, you know, even change your mind about what you wanted with this person, that's okay. Just kind of go with the flow and yeah, sorry, I've knocked the camera slightly. So what is gonna be happening between the two of you this uh, in the near future, Scorpio, is clarified by the Four of Wands though. Now, interestingly, because the Four of Wands is how you feel about them as well, but you do feel extremely overwhelmed. But yeah, in the near future, there is this Four of Wands, there is celebration. It's a very beautiful card of commitment. Uh, it is also about the home and even living together, you know, it can be a card of marriage, but it is big stuff. So for some of you, it could be that there is gonna be an opportunity or something coming up around this, but there is still an element of needing to take a pause, a delay, uh, need someone still being indecisive about commitment about maybe taking you know things to the next level um, maybe even living together or some sort of decision about a home uh, where again I'm just getting the sense of the hangman is also talking about needing to gain other another perspective take a bit of a time out and also making a decision from your your gut so I feel like there is still an element of um, going back and forth and a delay and really considering things but there is, I mean, the Four of Wands is, is beautiful. It is um, a, a gorgeous energy that's coming in. There's just going to be more indecision and delay about it in the near future for the time being, it looks like it. But communication's coming in. It just seems like, yes, communication is coming in. It's going to be playful. It might be exciting. This person is feeling more positive and um, clear about you, but they're still not completely clear about, you know, the big stuff, the challenge of settling down, of leveling up, of being, you know, committed. And that is the, I think that is what is still going to be in limbo is the more solid commitment stuff. But yes, communication is definitely coming in. <laughs> so that is what I've got for you, Scorpio, for my April 2021 reading. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please do leave me a comment and let me know if you did. Uh, hit the like button. If Scorpio gets the most likes this month, I will be giving you a bonus love reading. And just thank you so much for all your support. Do subscribe and stay tuned and you can see what other exciting things happen for the channel in the future. Thank you and wish you all my best, Scorpio. Speak soon, bye.